Uh, so, so Bell uh, has a, a worth of about forty billion, with a B, forty billion dollars. Um, this is a company that is worth forty billion dollars, has received hundreds of millions of dollars in government handouts, which let's be reminded are taxpayer dollars, and yet this is a company that just laid off sixty one hundred of those taxpayers. Is that justified? Okay, may I, I now I, may I, I now answer all these these questions? There were several there. So having there's having just Canadian one. companies, there's, Mr. Bivik, there's just one well, question. Well, having having well, strong just one Canadian question. companies just one is, a very, Mr. is a Bivik, fundamentally please, good thing. I think Ms. Thomas is trying to clarify the question. Thank you. Well, Chair, if there was, Thank I've not was, yet had an there's, opportunity there's to get to. Question. I've not yet had an opportunity to even ha provide one sentence of an answer. Asking so I'd just like just an opportunity question, to comment. She said, and not three. Mr. Vivek, you're right. You, you actually have answered with a few sentences. You said, I don't know, about five different times, maybe six different times. So I'm hoping perhaps you'll know the answer to this question, and that is, is it justified that you just laid off 6,100 employees in the last eight months when you have received hundreds of millions of dollars from the federal government, and it is a company worth $40 billion. I would think that we'd want strong Canadian companies that can continue to employ tens of thousands of Canadians. We employ 40,000 Canadians with good paying jobs. Uh, we are right now faced with an economy where we have um, difficult foreign exchange with the U.S. Most of our inputs are in U.S. dollars. The costs of inputs are increasing. Inflation is rampant in Canada. Unemployment's at 6.1 percent in March alone. Mr. Bibic, our I'm, content costs I'm for to my next are increasing. I, I we have a massive. I don't know that you have an answer. We have a massive me. productivity issue in Canada. So these are the macroeconomic factors that. All Canadian companies, including Bell, are dealing with, and we're trying to adapt and adjust so that we can continue to grow, which is a good thing, okay. and that we can continue to hire and retain Thank and you, employ 40,000 Canadian Thank companies. You, Mr. Bivik. That's a seconds. very good thing. Mr. Bivik, I'll just take a, a moment here just to remind you about this committee. Um, as a member of Parliament, a duly elected member of Parliament, I sit here at this table able to ask any question that I wish. Um, and, and your job is to answer those questions not in a way that you wish to answer or to make the spiel that you wish to, to put out there, but rather in a factual manner. And if you fail to do so, we have every ability to bring you back in a summons. Chair, I fully respect um, the committee's work and my role in answering the questions of the committee. In fact, I, um, I welcome public policy discussions and over my 20-year career in this industry, I've appeared before many committees and regulatory proceedings and industry roundtables, and I will always treat this uh, committee and the process with the utmost respect. That's uh, a fundamental part of what my, uh, my career has been about. We are now 